Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12 beta 4 or public beta 3 has been out for a few days and I've been using it on my iPhone 10, my main device. It's almost five days or so at the time of making this video anyway and I've got some mixed results this time around. Now on my iPhone 10 here, battery was good at first and then it really kind of went south from there. So as you can see here, if I go to the last 10 days, it's kind of been up and down and then down. And then my battery health is still at 100%. And if yours isn't at 100%, don't worry about it. It's just in a beta, unless it's telling you that you need to replace your battery. Otherwise, I'd ignore it. But you'll see my average screen on time is 3 hours and 35 minutes. Over the last 24 hours, it's been worse. So I don't really know what's happening there, but I have noted that I had to reset my phone probably three times in the past three or four days and today in particular it was bad I was using it maybe I was opening an app say the app store I'd go to scroll nothing would happen I couldn't swipe it off the screen I couldn't do anything with it it was just locking up and not working properly that happened on multiple apps could be weather it could be really could be anything and all of a sudden it just wouldn't respond properly so I had some issues with that and having to reboot it I also had some issues with my cellular signal going in and out and it's just not been great on my iPhone 10 compared to beta 3 now beta 3 has its own issues and with beta 4 uh, for me anyway CarPlay with Siri doesn't work but Apple actually warned us of that and I cover that in the the video about what was new with this but Apple warned that it wouldn't work right and sometimes it doesn't work right for me even though I have signals both Wi-Fi or cellular depending where I'm at if I talk to Siri in my car, sometimes it just doesn't work on CarPlay. It thinks there's no data connection. So those are the issues I've had personally. But then I ran a poll on YouTube, and normally I would do this on YouTube and Twitter. More people respond on YouTube, so I just let people on Twitter know that it was here. So 2,000 of you have voted over the past 11 hours, and I've read, I think, every single one of these comments and for the most part it's good except for iPhone 10 which is kind of strange but 40% said great 11% said terrible and 49% said okay but some bugs so let me scroll all the way down and what I've found by going over all of these is that iPhone 10 seems to be having the most little weird bugs, but a lot of you have said it's been great. So you'll see here, great, it's been great on iPhone 8. Oh, and I have True Tone turned on. I just realized that's why my screen looks a little yellow if you were wondering. If I turn that off, you'll see it will change that a lot. Normally I do that before I record a video, but just so you can see the difference, I'll do it now. So as you can see here, it's been great on iPhone 8 using an iPhone 7 Plus. It's better battery life. Okay, but some bugs. My 6S is showing me 11.4.1. Oh, this isn't a bug. This is actually, you need the beta profile for iOS 12. You have it for iOS 11.4.1. So make sure you have the right beta profile installed there. So a lot of you said great. Oh, actually, there was a terrible down here. It keeps getting a black screen. I've heard this multiple times from some people. I don't know what device it's on specifically, but I keep hearing of people having a black screen and then it improves. Then there's a black screen, then it improves. So it's kind of strange. I'm not sure what's going on there. Mostly internet problems like I was having. iPhone 10, public beta, good battery life, and no hiccups so far. Let's see. Don't why, but I can't seem to measure app. The measure app is still being fixed. So sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. I find that it's still not 100% accurate. Fixed screen bug and battery seems to last longer than an iPhone 7. So like I said, as I'm reading through all of these, other than a few works fine on my iPhone 10. Least broken version of the iPhone 7, much better. I've heard this from multiple people. Wallpaper is washed out on the iPhone 8 and 10. I don't really see that at all. I don't have any issues with the wallpaper specifically. Let's see. Working well on my iPhone 8. Like I said, there's a lot of people saying it's good. Here's one 6 plus. iOS 12 beta 3 was more reliable than beta 4. Beta 4 crashes my apps a lot and not as fast. I've heard that too. Some people were having really low Geekbench scores. But again, it's a beta. Make sure you're using that feedback app and report that. Terrible on iPhone 10, issues with iMessage, lock screen not showing date and time, crackling sound while on calls. Few bugs, but for sure better than iOS 11. Better battery, still room to improve. 
use an iPhone 6s it's stable found personal hotspot is not available reboot your phone if you're having that I had that before with beta 2 actually nothing major some minor issues the Gboard hanging when reopening an app Gboard may need an update as well time on the lock screen disappears I've heard that one as well with the iPhone 10 let's check out let's see okay but some bugs it's been all right but not great more bugs with this beta than with beta 3 in fact, they didn't note that, that there are a lot of bugs. Okay, but some bugs I'm on an iPhone 10, but still batteries draining quite frequently. I have to charge twice or sometimes thrice a day. So a lot of issues there. And I know a lot of people are still having issues, but make sure you report that in the feedback app. That's what it's there for. Report those issues and uh, hopefully it, it'll get better. I'm sure it will by the time it's released, probably in a couple of months in these weeks usually is when it's released the last two weeks of September let me know your thoughts though in the comments below also I know a lot of you want to see older phones uh, I have an iPhone 7 plus or an SE I could put it on I really don't have other ones that I can put it on right now which one out of those two would you prefer to see let me know in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and like as always thanks for watching I'll see you next time